chose Division II because athletes graduate at a higher rate. I can stay closer to home and be an important part of the community. I chose Division II because I can double major. And take part in campus activities. I chose Division II because classrooms are smaller. Students have more time with their instructors. And I can compete for a national championship. I chose Division II for all these reasons and more. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose, I chose Division II. What is Havelina Pride? It's learning by doing research. It's tailgating before the big game. It's being part of a world-respected engineering program. Texas A&M University Kingsville, the home of Havelina Pride. Find out more at tamuk.edu. After a six hour weather delay, we are minutes away from resuming play between Tarleton State and Angelo State. Graham Doty here at Foster Field where currently Angelo State with a six to nothing advantage over Tarleton State. But right around 1.15 earlier this afternoon, uh, lightning was spotted and then it absolutely just stormed for a good couple of hours. And uh, we are just now resuming play six hours later. We will remind you of the starting lineups, but before we do that, these are some shots around the field here at Foster Field. There's the dugouts on each side, and that's dead center field right around the warning track just to give you an idea of just how much rain fell here this afternoon in San Angelo. Football team came out and helped put the tarp on the field and helped remove it off of the field. There you see the football team right there taking it off the field. And this took quite a while. But finally, after around six hours of a weather delay, we are ready to start to play once again. There's the bracket on the left side of your screen. That's from day one. On the right side, that's what happened yesterday. Abilene Christian eliminated Texas A&M Kingsville 7-2. Uh, Angelo State knocked out West Texas A&M from the tournament 12-4. In the final game last night, Tarleton State was able to squeeze by Incarnate Word 3-2. So this afternoon, this is the first game today. And right now, Angelo State with a 6 to nothing lead over Tarleton State. One more game to follow this one will be Abilene Christian versus Incarnate Word. We will remind you of the starting lineups. First for the visitors, Tarleton State. Ryan Small, Noah Ringenberger, Blake Seguero, Garrett Hardy, Jonathan Schmitz, Landon Thompson, Chris Patton, Andrew Wolf, and Evan Robinson. And the starting lineup for Angelo State, Zach Cohen, Quade McKinnon, Toby Simler, Brett Parsons, Lee Newman, Ryan Greer, Doug Snover, Andrew Lacombe, and Tate Allison. So right now we are currently in the top of the fifth inning. Landon Thompson was at the plate for Tarleton State. But he did not see a pitch because of this weather delay. On the mound for Angelo State is still James Conley, the starting pitcher. So after six hour weather delay, James Conley still out on the mound here for the Rams. And his first pitch is strike one to Landon Thompson. And rather, it is a one ball, one strike count. Thompson 0 for 1 with a ground out to third. Checks the swing there. It's a slow roller. This could be trouble. Cohen gloves though over. Is not in time. Or calmly rather. But an infield single by Landon Thompson. Chris Patton 1 for 1. He singled about eight hours ago in the second inning. Top of the fifth. 
fifth. One on. Nobody out. Conley from the stretch. First pitch down and inside. The wind is still blowing extremely hard. It's blowing in from right field. The 1-0 from Conley is bounced to the shortstop, Cohen. Whips it over to second for one, the throw over, not in time. One down as Patton reaches on that first choice. Andrew Wolf, the center fielder, steps in, one out, one on, top of the fifth. Angelo State leading six to nothing. Wolf today 0 for 1, grounded out back in the second. Only three hits so far in this game for Tarleton State, all three singles. Strike one to Wolf. Only two runners have been left on the bases. Both have been left on first so far for Tarleton State. Conley's 0-1 delivery is fouled off. 0-1-2 to Andrew Wolf. Tarleton State got here on Saturday. They defeated Texas A&M Kingsville 4-2. And late last night defeated Incarnate Word 3-2. That game ended around 1 o'clock here at Foster Field. A two-hour rain delay yesterday. That ball a slap foul stays 0-2. So Saturday was absolutely gorgeous. No problems at all weather-wise. And then late yesterday afternoon is when the weather came into San Angelo and became a factor. 0-2 pitch way upstairs. One and two. Each of these teams won their first two games. The winner of this game That ball's bounced to third. Similar bobbles it, then throws it over just in time to get Andrew Wolf. Patton goes from first to second on the play. The winner of this game goes on to play for the championship game, which we hope will be tomorrow. The loser of this game was originally supposed to play later tonight, but they will play tomorrow at 11 o'clock. First pitch inside corner strike one. So tomorrow looks like this. There will be three games, weather permitting. 11 o'clock, then the championship game will start at three. And if we need to play another one, it'll be at seven o'clock. 01, this is blowing away. One and one. So the next game after this is Abilene Christian Incarnate Word. The loser of that game will be eliminated. 1-1 one, one pitch is lifted high in the air, shallow left field, and actually the shortstop, Zach Cohen, is the one that makes the catch for the third and final out of the inning. So after six hour delay here in the top of the fifth, we are still with a score of six to nothing as we move to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching the Lone Star Conference Baseball Tournament. The LSC would like to thank the following corporate partners. Firestone, we keep your car running newer, longer. Three shops, one stop, maintenance, repairs, and tires. AccuConference, providing conference calling for the Lone Star Conference. Shut Sports, official softball helmet of the Lone Star Conference. Alpha Graphics, providing printing solutions for the Lone Star Conference. My Sports Streams, providing fundraising solutions for Lone Star Conference member institutions. Bravo Health, community engagement partner of the Lone Star Conference. Adidas, official supplier of the Lone Star Conference. Jostens, official ring provider of the Lone Star Conference. Wilson, the official basketball of the LSC. In the Lone Star Conference, we're committed to respect, integrity, tradition, community, and academic excellence. Lone Star Conference, we're the one. Fans, don't forget to like the Lone Star Conference on Facebook. It's the best way to stay connected to all the latest information from around the league 
and join the conversation with other LSC fans. For an easy way to follow the latest happenings in the Lone Star Conference, be sure to follow the LSC on Twitter. Get scoring updates, event reminders, and breaking news when you follow the Lone Star Conference on Twitter. Joseph Rubel Caba still on the mound here for Tarleton State. Rubel Caba came back in in the fourth inning. And in that fourth, he gave up two runs on one hit. Six to nothing. Angelo State leading the Texans. Graham Doty here at Foster Field. The catcher, Andrew Lacombe, who's one for one with a single and a walk comes to the plate. Angelo State has been to the finals three times. They have won it one time back in 2007. Trying to get back there this year. First pitch strike to Andrew Lacombe. So the winner of this game will play for the championship. 0-1 pitch downstairs one and, one and the loser has to play tomorrow at 11 o'clock against the winner of Abilene Christian Incarnate Word. 1-1 one, one pitch grazes Lacombe and he was hit by the pitch. He's on base for the third time today. Brings up Tate Allison 0 for 1 strikeout walk. Tarleton State, Texans have won this tournament twice, been to the finals four times. Each of these teams are red hot. Winners of nine straight games. That ball floats in, strike one to Allison. Allison's dad, Johnny, played football for Angelo State. Shows a bunt there, doesn't connect, throw down. Lacombe gets back safely. One ball, one strike. Allison, one year at Howard College, one year at Grayson County Community College. Shows a bunt again, bunts it right back to Kaba. He's going to go to second, and it gets out of the glove of Robinson, the shortstop. Everybody safe. Robinson, for a split second, took his eye off the baseball. And everybody safe. That will be an error for Robinson. Now we have an argument here. Out. Two on here in the bottom of the fifth. Rams in front, six to nothing. That's Coach Brooks. Brooks trying to plead his case. Now everybody will talk to the home plate umpire here right around the pitcher's mound. Well, Allison did his job. Dropped down a sack, but Rubel Cabo, the pitcher, scooped it up and immediately tried to go to second, and the ball squirted out of the glove of the shortstop, Evan Robinson. And everybody appeared to be safe. And then Coach Brooks for Angelo State came out of the dugout arguing. And now all the umpires talking with Ryan Conger. If everybody is safe, I'm not sure what Coach Brooks was arguing about. Everybody is safe. Still nobody out, everybody is safe. It is an error on the shortstop, Evan Robinson. Coach Brooks exploded out of the Rams dugout on the third base side. There you see the Texans dug out on the first base side. But everybody's safe. Top of the order here for Zach Cohen. Oh 
He shows bunt and the dirt. Ball one. Cohen is 0 for 2, a fly out, ground out, hit by a pitch. Six runs on seven hits for the Rams. No errors. Only three hits for the Texans. That error on Robinson, the first of the day for the Texans. Showing fun again. Gets past the catcher, Schmitz. Everybody moves up a base. Lacombe the third, Allison to second. Both runners in scoring position here for Zach Cohen. We have seen and experienced a little bit of everything so far in this tournament. Crazy plays. A total of eight hours worth of rain delays. One more game to follow this one. Hopefully the weather will not have a factor or say in that game after this one. Two O count to Zach Cohen. Searching for hit number one. Everybody except one batter for Angelo Status. Reach base safely. There's strike one to Zach Cohen. Doug Snover, the only Ram to not reach base. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a fly out. He's batting seven. That's a laser shot through the left side of the infield. Lacombe scores. Allison gets held up a third. Hard turn to first for Cohen. He rips an RBI single. Seven to nothing. Angelo State. And for Cohen, that's his 20th RBI this year. Ryan Conger comes out of the dugout here for the Texans. That's well with the entire infield will join in on the conversation. Big inning in the making here for Angelo State. Already one run aboard. Nobody out, two on. The infield held up pretty good. But the third base side, especially deep in the hole at third, is pretty much pure mud. Home plate is okay. They just wiped it off with a towel. Outfield is pretty good as of right now, but when it was pouring down rain, that outfield turned into a lake here at Foster Field. Pitch high and away from ball one. McKinnon, two walks, two runs scored. Reached on a fielder's choice. Ruble Cabo from the stretch. Breaking ball, filthy. Strike one. Allison on third. Cohen on first. 1-1 one, one pitch, ball two. Two one pitch to McKinnon, low and away, ball three. The first two days here, it's also been pretty toasty in the Low to mid 90s. Now the temperature has certainly dropped a great deal here, Foster Field. See some fans in the stands wearing blankets, trying to stay cool where they're formed now. Runner goes to throw down a second. Second baseman Ryan Small cuts it off. It was ball four anyway. Bases are loaded, nobody out for Angelo State. Third walk for Ruble Cabo this afternoon. 
seventh walk allowed for the Texans pitching staff, but Joseph Rubacabal, his evening is over. We'll take a quick timeout, give you the final line for Rubel Caba. Seven to nothing, Angelo State leading Tarleton State. We'll be right back. Launch yourself into the future of technology at Eastern New Mexico University in Portales. When you experience the Eastern way, you'll experience a state-of-the-art computer center, full access to the internet in classrooms and residence halls, college credit instructional TV courses in different cities and high schools, even student-produced programs on Eastern's own public radio and TV stations. For registration information or how to get launched aboard one of Eastern's 60 undergraduate and graduate majors, call 1-800-4-ENMU. Angelo State University, affordable, better, closer. With one of the lowest tuition and fee schedules in Texas, Angelo State is affordable for all. Recognized by the Princeton Review as one of the top four public universities in the state, ASU is better than you imagine. And Angelo State's central location in Texas makes it closer than you think. Enjoy the freedom to explore your interests, cultivate your talents, and shape your future at Angelo State University. From here, it's possible. What makes WT Athletics unique? I do. I do. I do. I do. And so do you. Yes, we have great facilities and championship programs, but it's the people that set us apart. It's me and it's you. Without our athletes and without our donors, we are just an organization. An organization without a cause, without a voice, and without a purpose. Thank you for supporting the Buffalo Club. For more information, please visit GoBuffsGo.com. Go Buffs! There you see Tanner Ross, the new pitcher on the mound for the Texans, the junior from Weatherford, Texas, coming in for Joseph Rubelkaba, who goes only one inning, allowed two hits, three runs, two of those runs earned, three walks, one strikeout for Rubelkaba. Tough spot here for Ross. Nobody out. Bases are loaded. And the number three batter, Toby Simler, at the plate. Ross this year, three wins, no losses. 20 appearance this season. 5-3-3 ERA, 27 innings pitch, 31 hits, 20 runs. 16 of those earned, 17 strikeouts, and 13 walks. From the stretch, his first pitch is hit high and deep towards left field. Chris Patton goes back. That ball is off the wall. That ball was smoked. Two run score, rounding third, headed for home. And driving in all three runs is Toby Simler on a bases clearing triple. Another double. Only two runs will score as Allison comes home, Co Cohen comes home. McKinney goes from first to third on the play. The score is now nine to nothing. D.H. Brett Parsons at the plate. Nine runs on nine hits for the Rams. That ball's lifted high and deep towards right field. Deep enough to score one run. Ringenberger comes charging in, makes the catch, fires it to third. The throw at third is not in time. Everybody is safe. McKinnon scores. Simler goes from second to third on the play. So the last two batters have driven in four runs here for the Rams. Lee Newman, the center fielder, digs in. The first pitch he sees, strike one. One out, one on. Four runs here in the bottom of the fifth. The Rams have just been tearing the cover off the baseball here in the tournament. That ball was chopped foul. Newman's down in the count, 0-2. He's been aboard three times today. RBI single in the first. A solo home run in the third. He walked in the fourth. 
Andrew Lacombe led this inning off. He was hit by a pitch. Allison reached on an air. Zach Cohen had an RBI single. Quade McKinnon walked. Toby Simler, he's standing on third. Ripped a double but scored two runs. The 0-2 pitch, a slow roller right back to Ross. Ross will underhanded the first two down. Nice job by Ross. He checked Simler all the way back to the bag of three. Ryan Greer, the left fielder. Eighth batter in this inning. Greer's one for two tonight with a single walk and a strikeout. First pitch from Ross in the dirt. Schmidt cradles it. Nice job by him. One and up. Winner goes on to the championship game tomorrow. 1-0 pitch, that ball is ripped. There's an RBI single for Ryan Greer. 11 to nothing, Angelo State. Fifty-fifth RBI this year for Greer. The ninth batter in this inning coming up here for Angelo State. Doug Snover, the only Ram player who has yet to reach base. Foul off, strike one. Snover, two ground outs and a fly out. One pitch downstairs. Counts level one and one. Snover, the senior from Tempe, Arizona. One one pitch and the dirt. Two balls, one strike to Snover. Wind is blowing all over the place. It was coming in from the right field wall. Now it's kind of blowing out pretty hard towards left field. 2-1 pitch, high and away, 3-1 to Snover. Yesterday, Snover, one hit, three strikeouts, and a walk. 3-1 pitch in the dirt, a five-pitch walk to Doug Snover. He's aboard for the first time today, and now Angelo State has batted around here in the bottom of the fifth. Rear to second, Snover now on first. Andrew Lacombe, who lit this thing off, he was hit by a pitch. Back at the plate here, his fourth plate appearance. First pitch to Lacombe. Low, Schmitz couldn't find it. Nobody going anywhere though. One and O oh to Lacombe. Walk, single, hit by a pitch. Scored a run earlier in this inning. There's a strike for Tanner Ross. Lacombe, a first team conference pick this year. Two years at Texas State. One of the team captains this year for the Rams. 1-1 one, one pitch, fights it off for strike two. Lights on here at Foster Field. They've been on since around one o'clock this afternoon. Oh, 
One two delivery, breaking ball in the dirt. Two and two. Greer on second, Snover aboard on first. Two away. Five runs already in this inning for the Rams. 2-2 two -two pitch, there's a line drive, base hit in a right center field. Rounding third, headed for home is Greer. He will score standing up. Stover goes from first to third on the play. An RBI single for Andrew Lacombe. Second base hit, first RBI tonight. Brings up Tate Allison, the number nine batter. But for Lacombe, that is RBI number 36 this year. Six runs in this inning for Angelo State. That six hour rain delay had zero effect on the top seed and post school here. Slow roller fouled off by Tate Allison. First time ever the Lone Star Conference has been here at Foster Field. Tate Allison last year started 46 games. Looks at ball one, count as level. Led the squad in home runs last year with five and 43 RBIs. One year at Howard College, one year at Grayson County Community College. In the dirt, two balls, one strike. Talked about earlier, moved to Egypt when he was 11 years old. One pitch, low and away, three balls, one strike to Allison. Strikeout, walk, reached on an air. Scored earlier in this inning as well. Three one pitch from Ross. Finds the strike zone, the count is full. First full count here for Tanner Ross. Here's his payoff pitch, runners go. There's a hot shot foul, third base side. Let's do it again. Allison this year, 46 games, 228 average, four homers and 22 RBIs. fifth innings this year. I don't know what it is, but Angelo State has outscored their opponents 51-12 to this year in the fifth inning. There's a throw over. Lacombe safe. He's on first. Snover is on third. Payoff pitch. Hits Allison. Can't tell if it's on his wrist. Looks like it's his left wrist. That has to hurt. But he jogs down to first. Good news that he's okay. And the inning continues for Tarleton State. But once again, Brian Conger comes out on the mound to talk things over with Tanner Ross and the entire infield once more. Second time in this inning, the bases have been loaded, and that will be it for Tanner Ross. Let's take another quick timeout. It's 12 to nothing. Rams leading the Texans. Two outs, bases loaded. We'll be right back.
We strive for academic excellence. We believe in engaging our community. We're proud of our tradition. We exemplify respect on and off the field. We conduct ourselves with integrity, and we're committed to being the best. That's why we're the one. Lone Star Conference, we're the one. Kyle Supak, the new pitcher on the mound here for Tarleton State. Two outs, bases are loaded. Tough spot here for Supak. Second time in this inning, the Rams have had the bases loaded. Final line on Tanner Ross. Two thirds of an inning, three hits, three runs. One walk, no strikeouts, and he hit one batter as well. Top of the order here for Angelo State, Zach Cohen. First pitch to Cohen, he gets hit. And the first pitch from Supak, he nails Cohen and drives in another run, 13 to nothing, Angelo State. Lacombe to third, Allison to second. Everybody in the lineup except Parsons and Newman have scored in this inning for Angelo State. McKinnon at the plate here takes a ball. McKinnon three run score tonight, three walks. Supak first pitch, swung on a miss. Counts even one and one. This year for Kyle Supak, he's 0-3, his 15th appearance. His ZRA is, is over 10. 2-1-1 to McKinnon. But Supak this year, 19 and a third innings pitched. 25 hits, 22 runs, all earned. Seven strikeouts to 11 walks. 2-1 pitch. It's ripped pretty deep towards center field. Andrew Wolf comes charging in, and the left fielder comes charging in. Can't make it. One run scores, another run scores. The throw to second. McKinnon is aboard with a double that drives in two runs. And for McKinnon, that is his 16th double this year, and it's 45th and 46 RBIs. Cohen on at third, McKinnon now on second. Both Lacombe and Allison have scored twice in this inning. That one in the dirt, ball one to Toby Simler. Simler, fifth plate appearance, three hits and two RBIs. He struck out once. That breaking ball floats in, one ball, one strike. One one pitch, hits Simler in the back. Bases are loaded for the third time in this inning. Unbelievable. Brings up Brett Parsons. Hit a sack fly earlier in this inning. Sack bunt in the fourth. Ground out in the second. RBI single in the first. Nine runs here in the bottom of the fifth for Angelo State, 15 to nothing over the Texans. Two outs, bases juiced for Kyle Supak. First pitch to Parsons. It's the outside corner for strike one. This game started at noon, and we're approaching the eight o'clock hour here in San Angelo, a six hour rain delay. 
One one pitch, outside edge, strike two. One ball, two strikes to Brett Parsons. Lee Newman is on deck. He grounded out earlier in this inning. Parsons and Newman, the only Rams to not score in this inning. Here's the one two pitch in the dirt, two and two. So barring some miracle, Angelo State will play for the championship at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Two two pitch off the plate, full count. That game, you can watch it on FoxSportsSouthwest.com. Tarleton State will play the winner of Abilene Christian Incarnate Word tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Payoff pitch, strike three called. Tupac strikes out Parsons to finally end the bottom of the fifth. Nine runs scored for Angelo State here in the bottom of the fifth. And they lead 15 to nothing as we head to the top of the six here at Foster Field. You're watching the Lone Star Conference Baseball Tournament. Pitch to the leadoff batter, Ryan Small. A curveball floats away for ball one. James Conley still on the mound here for the Rams. That ball is chopped foul, one and one. Defensive substitution, Brent David now playing third base for Angelo State. Comes in for Toby Simler. That ball is ripped right at the shortstop. Cohen, one out. David, the freshman from El Paso, Texas, now playing third, brings up the right fielder, Noah Ringenberger, who's 0 for 2 with a flyout and a strikeout. Conley's first pitch is popped up for strike one out of play. Other activities currently going on right now in the sports world. The NBA playoffs, San Antonio and the Utah Jazz and Salt Lake City right now. Spurs in front 32 to 22, and the Spurs have a three to nothing lead in that series as well. Grizzlies and Clippers will play later tonight in LA. 8.30 tip off there. One ball, two strikes to Noah Ringenberger. One, two delivery. Way outside, two balls and two strikes. Utah Jazz finally getting back to the playoffs. It appears it will be a short trip. 2-2 pitch, popped up, out of play, stays, two balls, two strikes. Al Jefferson, you have to feel for him. He has played on some horrific teams. Drafted out of high school out of Mississippi. 
played for the Boston Celtics. That was before Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen got there. Slow roller back up the middle. Shortstop Cohen's there, bobbles it. That should be an infield single for Noah Ringenberger. Pitch kind of jammed Ringenberger, but he got just enough of it right back up the middle. That is a hit. All four hits tonight for Tarleton State have been singles. Brings up the D.H. Blake Segurio, one for two with a single. Al Jefferson went from the Celtics, got traded to Minnesota. Minnesota got traded to the Jazz. He went to the Jazz hoping to pair up with Darren Williams and make a lot of trips to the playoffs, but hasn't really worked out so far going to the playoffs for the Jazz since Jefferson's been a member of the team. One and one to Seguero. Fifteen to nothing, Angelo State leading Carlton State. Big swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes to Blake Seguero. Seguero, a senior from Cedar Park, Texas, a transfer from San Diego State. One, two from Conley, just misses the outside edge. Two balls and two strikes. One out, one on. Carlton State. Just trying to get one run on the board here. There's a 2-2 pitch, a little high, full count. Texans last year, school record 35 victories on a team that featured 16 seniors. Payoff pitch. Swing on and miss strike three. Second strikeout tonight for James Conley. Two away here in the top of the six. Brings up Garrett Hardy, the first baseman. 0 for two, fly out, ground out. Ball's lifted high in the air. Foul territory, third base side, strike one. On the jumbotron here, it says it's raining K's. Normally, I would say that's funny, but after all the rain we have seen the past two days, I'm pretty sure everybody here in the ballpark doesn't want any more rain. No balls, two strikes to Garrett Hardy. Conley's 0-2 pitch in the dirt, all one. Ringenberger standing on first. Seven of nine this year in stolen bases. Fourth most on the team, one, two on the way. Bounce foul. Stays one ball, two strikes to Garrett Hardy. Hardy is a senior from Arlington, Texas, Western Texas Community College. One-two pitch, a filthy breaking pitch from Conley. Back-to-back -back strikeouts ends the top of the six. Three strikeouts total so far tonight for James Conley. 15 to nothing, Rams in front. We'll be right back with the bottom of the six. You're watching the Lone Star Conference Baseball Tournament. The LSC would like to thank the following corporate partners. Firestone, we keep your car running newer, longer. Three shops, one stop, maintenance, repairs, and tires. AccuConference, providing conference calling for the Lone Star Conference. Shut Sports, official softball helmet of the Lone Star Conference. Alpha Graphics, providing printing solutions for the Lone Star Conference. My Sports Streams, providing fundraising solutions for Lone Star Conference member institutions. Bravo Health, community engagement partner of the Lone Star Conference. Adidas, official supplier of the Lone Star Conference. Jostens, official ring provider of the Lone Star Conference. 
Wilson, the official basketball of the LSC. In the Lone Star Conference, we're committed to respect, integrity, tradition, community, and academic excellence. Lone Star Conference, we're the one. Fans, don't forget to like the Lone Star Conference on Facebook. It's the best way to stay connected to all the latest information from around the league and join the conversation with other LSC fans. For an easy way to follow the latest happenings in the Lone Star Conference, be sure to follow the LSC on Twitter. Get scoring updates, event reminders, and breaking news when you follow the Lone Star Conference on Twitter. Fifteen to nothing. Rams leading the Texans here in the bottom of the six. Two defensive substitutions here for Tarleton State. Behind the plate catching now is Jared Musgrove, a sophomore from Houston, Texas. And now playing third is Austin Coble, a junior from Cypress, Texas. So Musgrave comes in for Schmitz, catching behind the plate. Coble comes in for Landon Thompson at third. First pitch to the leadoff batter, Lee Newman slaps one through the right side for a base hit. Third base knock tonight for Newman. Hit parade continues for the Rams. Brings in Ryan Greer. Plate appearance number five. Two singles, a run scored, a walk, and a strikeout. If you are just joining us, this game started at noon. We had a six hour rain delay, and now we're going to have another one. Lightning spotted in the area. I'm pretty sure you could hear a bunch of groans in the ballpark. Lee Newman on first, almost threw his helmet down. But another delay here at Foster Field. 15 to nothing, Angelo State leading Tarleton State. No idea once again how long it will be. It will be at least 30 minutes though. And we'll take another break. 15 to nothing, Angelo State in front. We will keep you posted.
There you see the pitcher tarp is on the field and it is absolutely pouring down here at Foster Field. We are in another delay between Angelo State and Tarleton State, but really the Rams have a 15 to nothing lead over the Texans. We are in a rain delay and have no really no idea when we will be able to resume play. We will disconnect, but we will certainly keep